are a managed service provider or interested in becoming one, in this video you will learn about how to configure the reseller white label portal at VoIP.ms. We will show you how to personalize the portal to meet your brand. Let's get started. To access the reseller portal configuration menu, log into your account at VoIP.ms and open your customer portal. Then go to the Reseller section and proceed by clicking on Reseller Configuration. The first step is to ensure that in Branded Interface section, the version of the reseller system is set to New Version. This ensures you're using the most updated version of the portal. The Interface and Access tab contains the URL address clients will access. Also contains an AutoConnect HTML form that provides your customers direct access to the white label portal without them having to provide username or password. The DID and Fax Access section provides you with the possibility to set the rates you charge your customers for using your services for all inbound communication. For outbound call configuration details, you may access our wiki webpage that's also found in the description box of this tutorial video. Let's also look at branding management. First section is title and colors, where you can change the look and feel of the portal that will be displayed to your clients. The configuration works exactly the same for every aspect enlisted in this section. Let's take a closer look into some of the options. The first option is title. This is what will show on top of the reseller portal when your customers log in. You can also preview how the changes you are making will show to your customers. I have set it to VoIP services and looking at the preview gives you an idea of how it looks. Making edits to the font colors is similar. Instead, you will just need to click on the color next to each feature and once changed, you can again preview. Once all edits are complete, make sure to click on the Save Changes button. On the Edit Buttons section, you can change the colors of the button's white label portal. On the Edit Panels section, you may also adjust the colors of the panels in the reseller portal, similarly to the previous sections. In the Images section, you can upload custom images for each subsection of the reseller interface. First, you will find the Header Image subtab followed by logo images and login background image. Images cannot be larger than the size suggested in the information box for each subsection. I'll upload a custom header image for illustration purposes. Visit the header image subsection, then click on the button Choose File and search in your computer the image you wish to upload. Then I will click on the Preview button. When finished, click on the button Save Changes. In the Display Elements section, you'll be able to hide or display specific features for your clients, allowing them to either see displayed passwords or even grant them access to change their own password to the login reseller interface you're customizing. In the Sign Up Form fields, you may also configure the elements that allow you to integrate an automated sign up form into your website and you can include as many values as permitted, or limit the information required to basic aspects. For example, first name, last name, and phone. On the Services tab, you can either select if your clients will visualize a simplified version of the reseller interface or the standard view. The simplified view allows your clients to visualize the portal in a less cluttered way. Hiding features like call type filters in the CDR certain panels on the balance page, as well as other information on the services page. The standard view allows them to have a more holistic view, depending on the specific features you select. You may also select each individual service your customers have access to by default. You can restrict options you deem unnecessary. For example, I have disabled callback, IVR, and calling queue by default for my customers. Once changes are applied, please scroll down and click on the Save button. In the Messages tab, you will be able to set up the look and feel of the messages in the reseller's client interface, such as welcome text, low balance email, reset password recovery email, and reset password email. To edit the low balance email message, 
Simply enter a title, then add the content. Note you can use variables which are shown on the left pane to help with accurate data in your emails. On the Payment tab, you can configure payment integration with PayPal. This gives your customers the option to make payments with PayPal. Lastly, the Host Name tab allows you to configure your portal so that the default URL is associated with your website instead of the default VoIP.ms interface. This requires you to configure your domain by creating a host name with an A record in your DNS that points to IP 184.172.106.203. When this is complete, contact our Customer Care Specialist team for host name authorization, which is only possible after you have followed the on-screen instructions provided under the Host Name tab. Bear in mind this process has a cost of $10. Instructions on how to best manipulate this tab can be seen in detail in the web link in the description box below this tutorial video. And this is how with VoIP.ms you can fully customize your white label portal according to your business brand identity. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.